And the Lord God said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterwards he will let you go. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hence altogether. And the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh shall not listen unto you, that my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. This is the last of the series of plagues that the Lord has brought down on Egypt, because Pharaoh hardened his heart so that the Lord God would be magnified in all the judgments that came upon Egypt. And Moses said, Thus saith the Lord, About midnight will I go out in the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sits upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maidservant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as none like before, nor shall it like any other. But because, but against any of the children of Israel, it shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know that the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. And this is what happened. Speak unto all the congregation of Israel. saying in the tenth day of the month that you should take a man, every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers a lamb for a house and you shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses wherein they shall eat it And I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, <coughs> I will pass over you, <coughs> and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. <clears throat> During the Passover, the Lord passed over the land of Egypt, <clears throat> all whose houses were covered with the blood of the lamb were spared from death. All those who believed God and obeyed God were saved. thousand years ago John the Baptist whose job was to prepare the way of the Lord said behold the Lamb of God is taken away the sins of the world he is whom I have said after he comes a man which is preferred before me for he was before me Jesus is our Passover lamb the promised Lamb of God that came into the world and laid down his life a sacrifice for the sins of men that whosoever believes and are found in him death passes over and has no power on them they are sealed and covered by the blood of the lamb So now we're on the Passover. Now this is what you do. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month 
shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak you unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of the month you shall take them, every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to the eating shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep and from the goats. And you shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel is to kill it in the evening. And they shall take the blood and strike it on the two doorposts and on the upper doorposts of the house wherein they shall eat it. Rob. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remains of it until the morning you shall burn with fire. And thus you shall eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. And they shall eat the flesh in the night, roast it with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat it not if it raw or sodden at all with water, but roast with fire his head with his legs and with the the scripture declares man's great dilemma is that God is holy and we are all sinful even from our youth none of us are righteous and all fall short of God's glory. Our sinfulness excludes us from the eternal life in God's holy presence. God is righteous, holy, and just. He is angry at sin and those who rebel. Sin must be punished. The righteous judge must judge the wicked. This is our dilemma. We are all guilty and cannot save ourselves. Death is a penalty for sin against the Most High and must be paid. God in His mercy sent His own Son to pay the debt that we cannot pay. God laid on his own son all of our sins. He died in our place, suffering the pain and the punishment that we rightfully deserve. Anyone found in Christ, bought and paid for by his blood, death passes over. Showing God 
to be both just and justifier of those who believe sinners who turn to him in faith. After the Lord Jesus died, he was buried and on the third day rose from the grave, conquering death forever. And so as our Lord was resurrected and glorified, every believer has this hope that they will be raised incorruptible to forever be with the Lord in everlasting life. Do you believe?